first start with the graph isomorphism. So a graph isomorphism is a between two graphs. Suppose g1 is equal to v1 e1 and g2 is equal to v2 e2. Then a function f from v1 to v2 is called graph isomorphism if f is 1 to 1 and on to. That means in both the graphs the number of vertices must be the same first and the degrees of every vertex uh, must be same as the degree, degree of uh, the vertices in the first graph must be equal to the degree of vertices in the second graph. That is second condition is for all AB belongs to V1 that is if there is an edge between AB in V1 then if and only if uh, f of a and f of b there is an edge in e2 so that is when such a function exists g1 and g2 are called isomorphic graphs example suppose this is a graph g1 and this is another graph g2 now i should have a mapping from one vertex to the another vertex and this is also an isomorphic graph between uh, two first graphs so here if i map one to vertex one a so f of 1 is equal to a, f of 2 is equal to b, f of c is equal to f of 4 is equal to d, f of 3 is equal to c. So then here because it is a complete graph, this is also a complete graph, there is an edge between every vertex to every other vertex. So here I can map this vertex to any of the vertex and this map this to any other vertex it's like that I can map, I can find the function. So again here w, x, y, z are the four vertices with the edge between every pair of vertices. So another example here, so this is one uh, graph, this is equivalent isomorphic graph. Now can we have the graph isomorphism between these two. So now check it, check it here, the number of vertices is 6. Here the number of vertices is 6, number of edges is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 3, 3, 6, 9. So here 9 uh, edges here 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 edges. Now check the degree of uh, here there are 2 vertices of degree 2 but here there are three vertices of degree 2. So there is no possibility of existence of the isomorphism because isomorphism says that the number of vertices must be equal to the number of edges and the degree of the vertices, the number of vertices with the degree, um, same degree must be the, um, it, they must be same in both the graphs. Next is a bipartite graph. So a bipartite graph is a graph where the vertices can be divided into two disjoint sets sets such that all the edges connect a vertex in one set to the vertex in the other set. So it is represented by g v1 comma v2 where v1 is the first subset and v2 is the another subset. So they are the two partitions of the given vertex sets. It means v1 and v2 union forms the original set and there is no common vertices between v1 and v2 and this is e. Now a complete bipartite graph is a bipartite graph where the m vertices of v1 has edge with all n vertices of v2 represented as kmn where m is less than or equal to n. So suppose if you see here this is a um, group 1 where you have 4 vertices this is group 2 where you have another uh, 5 vertices. So here v1 a uh, first vertex in v1 has edge 3 edges with the second group of vertices here the remaining have one one edges and uh, this is bipartite there is no edge between the set of vertices in the same group but you have an edge between one one group to another but here what is the difference here is every vertex in the first group has an edge with every other vertices uh, in the second group so this is called as a complete bipartite graph whereas this is not complete bipartite graph so if you uh, see this then the number of vertices in the given graph in a complete bipartite graph will be m plus n and the number of edges will be m into n because from every vertex i have an edge with every other vertex this in the bipartite, complete bipartite graph next is vertex degree 
the vertex degree is nothing but the number of edges uh, edges incident to that vertex suppose if you see the vertex degree of this uh, uh, of the degree of this vertex is 3 the degree of this vertex is 3 degree of uh, this vertex is 1 degree of this vertex is 3 the number of edges which are incident to that one vertex now a vertex whose uh, degree is 1 we call it as a pendant vertex and the number of uh, the vertex with the 0 degree is called as an isolated vertex next is a hand shaking property so it says that for simple graph sum of degrees of all the vertices is equal to 2 times the edges so what is a simple graph so a graph without any loops and multiple edges is called a simple graph so in such graph sum of degrees of all the vertices if you do it should be equal to 2 times the edges how it is you can just observe here each edge is associated with 2 vertices so the in uh, it is counted in 2 vertices degrees so 2 times the edges will be equal to sum of degrees of all the vertices and uh, corollary is that the number of vertices of odd degree must be even because always the sum of degrees is an even number so the whatever the number of four degree vertices you have it must be even next is a regular graph so regular graph is nothing but every vertex has the same degree so a regular graph uh, of uh, order uh, uh, 5 is represented by 5 regular graph it means every vertex in the graph is having degree 5 now question is is it possible to have four regular graph with 10 edges so you have the number of edges two times the number of edges is equal to because number of vertices into four because the number of vertices uh, uh, i have to find each vertex has degree four so sum of the degrees of edges two times the edges is equal to four times the number of vertices which is nothing but two into ten which is uh, 20 so therefore v is equal to 5 therefore it is possible which is k5 next is it possible to have four regular graph with 15 edges so 15 is nothing but 4 into v which is 30 so here v will be equal to 30 by 4 which is not a whole number so it is not possible to have a regular graph with 15 edges Next is uh, the seven bridge uh, Konigsberg problem. So here you have these are the seven bridges. One, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven bridges. And uh, each of these bridge covers some land area. So these are the land areas. Land area one, two, that is area B, A, B, C and D. So here the question is find a way to walk about the city so as to cross each bridge exactly once and then return back to the same starting point so now how this can be converted this problem can be converted into a graph here is so the number of uh, vertices in this graph will be equal to the number of areas in the land areas in this uh, Konisberg area and here we have area a b c d which are represented by the vertices now which are the neighboring areas i will be representing by an edge so area a which covers area b so there is an edge between a and b for every edge i have this so i will get this uh, graph now if i consider this uh, problem i can convert it into either your trial or circuit we'll see what is that meaning so suppose uh, G is equal to VE is an undirected graph or a multi graph with no isolated vertices. Then G is said to have an Euler circuit. If there is a circuit in G which traverses every edge of the graph exactly once. So Euler circuit is nothing but it's a circuit in which if it traverses all the edges of the graph exactly once. Euler means as we know that there is no repetition of edges. So if you are able to get a circuit in which it traverses every edge of the graph exactly once then such a graph we call it as a Euler circuit. So if there is an open trail from A to B in G and this traverses every edge in exactly once then that trail is called as a Euler trail. So as we know that circuit is nothing but it is a closed, closed path, closed walk. 
your trail is nothing but you are having starting and ending different vertices. So this problem of your uh, Konigsberg will be called it is nothing but you need to traverse every edge once. Uh, so this is not going to be possible because you can see this theorem. So if you have a graph with an interacted graph or multigraph with no isolated vertex then G is said to be Euler circuit if and only if G is connected, disconnected and every vertex in G has a even degree. You can observe here it has a odd degree. It means you cannot have a Euler circuit in this kind of graph. Because it is not possible to have a Euler circuit when you have the vertex uh, with the odd degree. So, here all the degrees are odd. Hence, no Euler circuit for Konigsberg bridge problem. So, there is no solution to this Konigsberg problem, bridge problem.